18, there we go. 19, stay strong, one more, and 20. Yeah. Great work, son. Thanks, Dad. No problem winning again this year. All right, next up, let's go for Gordon. Mr. Daniels. Uh, is it okay if I can skip coach? I don't know if I can do any. Doesn't look like you skip lunch, so I'm not gonna let you skip push-ups. <laughs> Besides, the fitness competition is next month. It's your last chance to prepare for it. I'm not sure I want to enter. It's not optional. Everyone in school has to do it. Now come on, push-ups. Start when you're ready. Seriously? Can't even do one? I tried to tell you. <laughs> I thought you were exaggerating, but it makes sense. It's a lot of weight to push up. <laughs> Congrats. You're the only one who got a zero. <laughs> Even the girls did more than you. All right, everyone, let's go to the pull-up bar. That's one. I can't. No, it's okay. At least you did one. Thanks, coach. No problem. All right. Gordon, let's see what you got. I know I can't do any. Okay, well, you gotta try anyway. <laughs> Trying, I can't pull myself up. You're joking. You can't even pull up an inch. Come on, man, get it everything you got. Hopefully the ball doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> he was pulling so hard, I thought his eyes gonna pop out of socket. <laughs> Troy, <laughs> show everyone how it's done, man. Let it go, Troy. All right, so for this last one, you guys are gonna run to each cone and back as fast as you can, okay? Got it. All right, you guys ready? Set. All right, let's go, let's go. Keep running, hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's go, let's work, run harder than that. Let's go, Troy, let's go, Troy. Yes. Good work, son. Thanks. Yeah. Come on, finish strong, run faster than that. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Good job, good job, good finish, good finish, good finish. Last place again. I ran as fast as I could. Boy, if it was a fire happening, you better pray. <laughs> because running wouldn't get you that far. Hey, Dad. What's up? You know how the winner of the competition always goes up in the school newspaper? Yeah. Maybe we should put the biggest loser there, too. <laughs> a little picture of Gordon. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so today was just for practice. Next month is the real deal. So keep working hard, okay? All right, get out of here. You guys earned it. What's up, Gordo? <laughs> hey, I was just talking to Javier, and I found out Gordo means fat in Spanish. So that's your new nickname, Mike. Gordo. Gordo. Leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, look, look, look. Let me just give you some advice though, man. You should probably just call in sick on the day of the competition. And that way you don't end up embarrassing yourself again. <laughs> hey, son. How was school today? I don't want to talk about it. Let's just go. Wait, what? What happened? Today was practice for the physical fitness competition next month. Everyone was laughing at me. I came last in everything. I'm sorry to hear that, but that doesn't mean you can't get better. You're right. Look at me. Guys my size don't do push-ups and pull-ups. I won the fitness competition when I was in school. I didn't let my weight stop me. What are you talking about? You were never overweight. You think I was always like this? 
Not even close, man. You see, when I was younger, I was always, let's just say, bigger than everyone else. Every time I showed up to PE, all the other kids would laugh at me. I remember the first time my teacher asked us to do push-ups. I was the only kid who couldn't do a single one. It was so humiliating. But the important part is, I used that as motivation to work harder. I was determined to not let my weight stop me from being the best athlete I could be. And guess what? Over time, I could do more push-ups than anyone else in school. No one, not even my teachers, could believe it. So you see, I used to be heavier too, but I never let my weight hold me back. Because you can do anything in life you want to do as long as you work hard and believe in yourself. Wow, I can't believe you used to be just like me. Yeah, so if I can do it, you can too. You said you have one more month left before your fitness competition, right? Yeah. All right. How about I train you for it? <laughs> huh? Sounds good to me. Feeling more inspired than ever, Gordon commits to working hard and believing in himself. The next day, Gordon goes out with his dad to start training. It doesn't take long for him to feel discouraged. But this time, whenever he falls and feels like giving up, he has his dad to encourage him to keep working hard and believing in himself. Over time, Gordon starts to get better and better. He keeps training day after day, and eventually he ends up becoming really strong. And then came the day of the fitness competition. 20, come on. Let's get it, one more, one more, 21, <laughs> yes! Great work, son. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. You're next. Let's try to get at least one this time, Gordo. <laughs> All right, Gordon, you're up next. Let's go. And go. One. Wow. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gordon continues to do push ups and amazes everyone. When he gets to 20, everyone thinks that he's done. But he pushes himself to do one more and gets to 21. Just as he's about to give up, he tries harder than he's ever tried before and gets in one more push-up to win the competition. No one can believe it. When it comes time for pull-ups, Gordon tries his best to pull himself up one more time, but he can't. He ends up losing this challenge to Troy by one. Troy and Gordon are now tied for first. And then, for the final challenge, Troy has a nice lead over Gordon. Just when Gordon starts to give up, he catches a second wind and pushes himself to his limit. But still, he's not able to catch Troy and Troy finishes in first place. Although Gordon lost the competition, what he did win was the respect of everyone who saw how hard he worked, including Troy and the coach. Hey everybody, I am proud to announce the winner of the physical fitness competition, Troy. Thank you. But honestly, I was most impressed with Gordon. Put up quite a fight and you almost beat me. So today, let's all give it up for Gordon. <laughs> Great job, Gordon. <laughs> Thank you, I didn't know second place makes the paper. They don't. It was all his idea. I wanted to say how proud I am of you. You really gave it everything you had. That means a lot. Thank you, coach. But I still don't understand. How did you go from not being able to do a single push-up to 22? 
Well, a wise man once told me, you can do anything you want as long as you work hard and believe in yourself. Nice, that's nine, that's nine. Come on, come on, baby, you got this, let's go. Ten, oh! Woo, yeah! Man, this is like baby weight for you, man. <laughs> Yo, speaking of babies, <laughs> get a lot of this guy. <laughs> hey, fellas. How many more sets do you have left? Uh, for what? For this bench. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You, you want to use this bench? No offense, but, uh, can you even reach the bar? <laughs> yeah. Do you think I have muscles like these without lifting? <laughs> Bro, are those muscles <laughs> or mosquito bites? <laughs> uh, we're all done. You can use it. But uh, just try not to hurt yourself. Bro. <laughs> Don't worry about those guys. Their barks are way meaner than their bites. Let me help you with this. Thanks. I'm Roman. Are you a personal trainer here? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just Earl, the guy that helps unrack the weights. Just in case you ever think about competing, in six weeks we're having this annual- Oh, I'm already registered. That's why I've been training every day. Well, that's great. You know what, train hard, because this year they raised the grand prize to 10 grand. In my day, we were lucky if we got 10 bucks. Oh, I don't care about the money. The winner gets sponsored by Gymshark. To me, it's more important than anything. It shows I can finally shine as an athlete, not just as a little person. With that being said, I better knock out these pull-ups. I like your dedication. Have a great workout. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? This little guy needs a box to do pull-ups. That's adorable. <laughs> Will you guys leave me alone? I'm trying to train. I must admit, I'm kind of impressed you can do pull-ups at all. Me too. But then again, it can't be that hard to lift yourself up when you weigh 12 pounds. <laughs> you messing up my set! Oh, careful. Little guy's got a short temper. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to it. I'll just do this. No. <laughs> ah! Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, just... Some guys are making some comments, just trying to shake it off. You know what? Ignore them, all right? You want to win this competition, you can't worry about anyone else. You got to be focused on you. All right, thanks. You know if this is good protein? Yeah, this is one of my favorites. The macro split is perfect for a cutting cycle, which is great right before a show. Hmm. You seem to really know your stuff. Have you competed before? Well, I had my dream about being a champion, but I could never place higher than second, and I'm not the type of guy that loses very well, so yeah, after a while I just gave up. And that's why I also decided to stop being a personal trainer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I don't think you should stop training others just because you didn't win. Nah, I just figured if I can't win for me, then I'm no use to anyone else. Credit card companies, <laughs> always wanting their money. I'll tell you, Roman, racking weights doesn't pay as well as winning competitions. I'll be right back. No problem. Whoa, careful. Don't pour too much now. I think I know what I'm doing. Just a little tip. Um, you want about one gram of protein for every pound you weigh. So, there, that should be enough for you. I wouldn't be entering a competition if I didn't know anything about nutrition. Wait, don't tell me you are entering the bodybuilding competition. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> oh man, this just keeps getting better and better. Do you even know who won the competition last year? No. Who do you think? Mm. And he's gonna win it again this year. I think there's gonna be a new winner this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, the mighty dwarf's gonna beat me. <laughs> hey, at least the little guy dreams big, right? Oh man, <laughs> look, even if I wasn't entering the competition, I'd still go just to watch him embarrass himself on stage. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roman, wait up! Everything all right? Man, I, I saw you throw away this flyer. I'm not doing the competition anymore. What? what? Dude, you told me you've been training so hard for this. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna win anyways. Did Devin and Joe say something to you? <laughs> Man, you gotta stop letting those guys get under your skin. Those guys are just two big bullies. Yeah, I know, I tried, but they're right. I'm just gonna humiliate myself on stage. Let's face it, people like me don't win fitness competitions. I'll only ever be seen as a little person. Well, you're never gonna know if you quit now. You quit. So I'll just be like you. I gotta go. At least I tried. Which is more than you're ever gonna be able to say. You wanna know why I started weightlifting in the first place? Let me tell you something. You see, my entire life, everywhere I've gone, people have laughed at me. They've called me names. They've said every mean thing that you could possibly think of. I started thinking that nobody would ever see me as anything more than a little person. But then, I ran into a bodybuilder, and I noticed how the only thing anyone cared about was how big his muscles were. That was the moment I decided I was going to start lifting weights. So you see, I thought maybe if I lifted weights, people would see me as something more. But I realized I'm always going to be looked at as a little person in people's eyes, and I can't change that. Maybe there is something you can do. What's that? Well, you can prove to those two guys that they were wrong to ever underestimate you. And Roman, man, you can prove to the world that you're more than just a little person by winning this competition. You think I can win? I don't think. I know. I tell you what, meet me here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. For what? Let's just say I'm coming out of retirement to be your trainer. And with that, Roman was back in the competition. The next day, Earl starts training with Roman to get him ready for the show. Determined to prove people wrong, Roman trains harder than he's ever trained before. With Earl's support, Roman is able to lift more weight and do more reps. Before long, Roman starts to make a lot of gains. At home, Earl helps prepare all of Roman's meals each week. Everything is carefully measured to help Roman build muscle and look as good as possible for the competition. And it all seems to be working. Roman starts making gains and looking better than ever. He keeps putting in the hard work in the gym and trains every single day. Whenever he gets tired, Earl reminds him why he's doing this in the first place and it motivates Roman to keep going. Before long, Roman was ready for the competition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our final three contestants. Yeah. Can we have Dev, Joe, and Romano step forward, please? Yeah, Roman! Thank you for coming out, fellas. You all did an amazing job. Now for the judges' final decision. Let's see a quarter turn to the right. Front double bicep.
side chest, back lat spread. All right, relax while I wait on the judge's decision. For third place, Joe. Third? Will the last two contestants step forward, please? For second place. Roman! That means Dev is the grand prize winner of $10,000 and a sponsorship with Jim Shark. Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Thank you. Hey, I'm sorry you didn't get first, but man, you did great. Oh, bring it here. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. You mind if we get out of here? I just want to go home. Sure. Hey, Roman. Even this guy's bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice, bro. <laughs> What's that selfie? Roman. You know this guy? Wow. You really looked amazing out there. I'm Kevin, head of athlete relations at Gymshark. I saw your performance tonight. My whole team is really interested in you. You're exactly the type of athlete Gymshark likes to work with. What? You're joking. I'm dead serious. If you have a few moments, we can talk about signing to a sponsorship. We have an upcoming campaign that we love to make you the face of. Is the campaign for little people or something? No, not at all. All we care about is your athleticism. That's what stands out the most. And after this campaign, the whole world will see it too. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sorry you didn't get in first place, but I got something sweeter than that. It's a 25 grand check for signing bonus. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. This is all because of you. You pushed me to win. Um, all I did was give you a little nudge. You had it in you all along. Oh, sorry guys, I gotta take this call. Hello, yeah? I'd like to pay off a debt, please. I see you doing your thing, boy. Gentlemen, give us a moment. Uh, what's up, coach? Trent Michael, we've got some bad news. I really hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut you both from the team. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? You can't be serious, coach. I've been catching every pass thrown my way, and Mike just had two interceptions last game. The NFL is a business. It's nothing personal. Coach, please. Football's my life. Our lives, all I ever wanted to do was be somebody and inspire people. It's my chance. <laughs> Son, I hate to break this to you, but guys like you don't inspire people. You're lucky to have made it this far. I'm sorry. Coach! Damn, this is crazy, man. So that's it? I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Football's all I know. I don't know, yo. I gotta go clean my hair. I'll hit you later. Oh, hey Trent. Hey. We were just talking about you. Man, we are so proud of you. My own son is an NFL player. Who would have thunk that? Mm -hmm. Trent, is everything okay? They cut me, Ma. Just like that. What? What are you talking about? Man, you're the best player on that team. I know. I don't know what to say. It's over. I'm done with football. I don't know why they say the NFL stands for not for long. Honey, I am so sorry for what happened. And I know that you are upset right now, but I promise everything is gonna be okay. Oh, Ma. 
You don't understand. Football is my life. I thought I was gonna be somebody and inspire people. But what am I supposed to do now? You don't need football to be somebody or to inspire people. You can do that anyway. When one door closes, another one opens. You just have to have faith. No, Ma. The only door I had was football. Now that that's gone, there's nothing left. I'm sorry I let you guys down. Son, come on! Trent! Don't think that way! Uh. Trent's mom and dad feel so bad for him. Now that his dream of being an NFL player is shattered, he decides to put down the football and picks up a bottle of alcohol instead. Trent's life quickly goes downhill. He drinks every day to try and take away his pain, but it only makes things worse. Then one day, he gets some news that is gonna change his life forever. Trent? Trent Shelton? Hey man, look, I just wanna say I'm sorry. Sorry for what, man? Well, I, I heard what happened with Michael and I just knew how close you were with him. What happened to Michael? What are you talking about, man? I'm, I'm sorry, man, I, I thought you knew. What happened to him? Yeah. He's gone. They found him this morning. He took his own life. No. No. It's all over the news. I'm really sorry, Trent. Please tell me that isn't real. Trent, I'm sorry, man. Oh, man. Not Michael, man. Trent. Baby, what's wrong? Are you all right? What's wrong? It's Michael. He took his life. Oh. I am so sorry. I should have been there for him. I still can't believe it. Hey, 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 baby. It is not your fault. And there is nothing that you could have done. I, I don't understand. Why would he do something like that? I don't know. But I should have called him or... I should have known something was wrong. Baby, you cannot blame yourself for this, okay? I mean, I just wish I could talk to him, you know? I mean, just because football didn't work out doesn't mean he doesn't have any other options. I mean, when one door closes, another one opens, right? Oh, my God. That's what you guys were trying to tell me all along. I was heading down the exact same path. I haven't been wanting to be so hard on you. We were just so worried about you. Trent, you have not been yourself at all lately. You know what? I promise from this point forward, I'm gonna turn my life around. No more partying, no more drinking. Oh. <laughs> You have no idea how happy that makes us to hear, your son. I'm gonna become somebody and inspire people, even if it isn't through football. Yes, baby. I'm not gonna let Michael's life be for nothing. Oh. I want everybody to know his story. Son, we are so proud of you. <laughs> With newfound inspiration, Trent decides to rehab his life and turn it all around. He throws away all the bottles and commits himself to finding a new path, a path of inspiring others. He begins making inspirational videos, sharing his story with the world. He uploads them on Facebook and YouTube, and before long, starts getting a lot of views. Trent goes on to tell his story about rehabbing his own life to small crowds, which eventually turn into really big crowds. 
Trent finally starts living the life that he always dreamed of. A life that he knows Michael would be proud of. And then one day, he happens to run into an old acquaintance. Trent? Yeah. I can't believe it's you. I'm a huge fan. I'm here to listen to you speak, and I just wanted to let you know that you've inspired me more than you will ever imagine. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Can I get a picture? Sure. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Trent? Hey, hey, it's been a while. You know I haven't seen you since. Since you cut me. You said guys like me would never inspire people. I remember. Yeah. Hey, I'm really sorry about that. It's OK, coach. I forgave you a long time ago. Why are you here? I'm actually here to hear you speak. You know, I'm a big fan. Hey, I even read your book. Wow, that's great. You think you might want to come by the locker room sometime? You know, I bet if you talk to a few of my players, you could really inspire them. Sure, coach. I love to. Great. Then uh, I'll give you a call sometime then, huh? Hey, it was really great seeing you. Great seeing you too. Oh, you know, I have to know, how did you do it? You know, bounce back after getting cut. Well, I just realized when one door closes, another one opens. Just got to keep the faith, coach. See you later. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, speed it up. Good work, good work. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, oh no, look like Mikey got hurt. Hey, it's okay, bring it home, bring it home. Come on, come on. It's not looking too good. Don't lose hope, we can still win this. <sighs> hey, come on, come on, faster, faster. Get to me, I'll do the rest, you got this. Woohoo, yeah! Come on, come on. Go play! So far behind, it's not gonna catch him. I think he can, he's the best runner we've got. Come on, Blake, let's go, on, you let's got go, this. Let's go, yeah, let's, let's go. go. There we go, let's there go. we go, yeah, come on, there we go, come on, there we go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Blue team! Oh, let's yeah! Go. Let's go! Blue Woo. team wins the quarterfinals! Woo. All right, Blake! Woo! Woo. There you go, Blake! <laughs> Amazing job, guys. That was incredible. Thanks, Coach, but it was all thanks to Blake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you, we're going to the semifinals! Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> they don't call me Blazing Blake for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, I'll be going to run for North Carolina. Just wait. I don't doubt it. So how you feeling? Looks like you got hurt. Not too good. Hurt my ankle again. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to run tomorrow. Shoot. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Just wish they let me run twice. <laughs> yeah, then we win for sure. Yeah, well. Kyle, would you like to run at tomorrow's race? Are you kidding? I would love to. Kyle. <laughs> nay, Coach, you're joking, right? Kyle, <laughs> you're going to let him run with us? Hey, look, Kyle, he's been practicing a lot, and he's gotten really good. Yeah, I'm sure that he's gotten good if this were the Special Olympics. Blake. I can't believe that you're going to let him ruin our one shot and go into the finals. <sighs> Matter. I don't know, Coach. Maybe I shouldn't run. I mean, I do have a disability. Disabilities don't disable dreams, Kyle. I know that you are a great runner. And soon enough, they'll see it too. Okay? Thanks, Coach. Now rest up. Because tomorrow, you're going to the semifinals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes, teams. Two minutes remaining. All right, boys, bring it in. If we win tonight, that means next week we get to go to the championship. And I haven't been there since I used to run back in high school. Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. You won the state championships? Yeah many years ago. And now we have a real shot of winning it again together. Yeah, let's do it. You guys got this. 
Look, guys, let's be real, okay? Don't get your hopes up. After all, we have him running on our team. Blake, don't talk about Kyle that way. Yeah, come on, man. That isn't cool. Guys, I'm just telling it how it is, okay? Time! Let's go. Hey, don't worry about him. You just worry about running a good race tonight, okay? Good luck. Runners, take your positions. On your marks. Get set. Yes, good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed up. Come on, catch up. Yes, we're in the lead. We got this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pass to Kyle. Oh, oh no. Oh, I knew it! Yes, come on, come on! All right, yep, there we come go, yep, you got it, come on, you can catch up, you can catch up, let's go, let's come go, let's on, go, let's go! Come on, come on! Faster, faster, faster! Yes, yes! Faster, Blake! Yeah, yeah, faster, come on, come on, come on, faster! Come on, Blake! Let's go, Blake! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, we almost Yes! <laughs> yes! Blue team! Yeah. Blue team wins the semifinal! <laughs> I can't believe we did it! We're going to the final! Yes! <laughs> yeah. And no thanks to the gimp. Hey, don't talk like that. You should apologize to Kyle right now. No! Look, I told you guys, we never should have let him run. He almost ruined our chance to get to the championships. Ugh. Hey, don't let him get to you. Yeah, you did great. Yeah. I don't know how I dropped the baton. That was so embarrassing. Look, hey, it's all right. That could have happened to any one of those runners out there. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I don't know what I was thinking. I only have one leg, I can't be a runner. I was such a fool to even dream of getting a scholarship and running a college. Kyle, don't say that. Remember when I told you, just because you have just a- Just stop! Stop. I appreciate you giving me the chance, but I'm just not meant to. I'm not meant to be a runner. I'm not meant to- I dropped the baton. What are you talking about? Remember when I told you I won championships back in high school? Well, what I didn't tell you is, in the semis, I dropped the baton. See, look. Oh my gosh, then. How did you guys win? Well, luckily, our anchor, he ran as fast as 100 meters ever, saved us, and we made it to the finals. But can you guess who ran as fast as when we made it to the finals? You? Exactly. So one bad race does not define one's career. Just like how one disability. Doesn't disable my dreams? Exactly. So keep practicing. Because next week, you are going to be running in the championship. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Yeah! Kyle stands there more inspired than ever to go after his dream of being a runner in college. The next day, he's one of the first to arrive on the field and practices running for his 100 meter race. He trains harder than he's ever had to before pushing himself further and further than he ever thought possible. With Coach Garrison's help,
Kyle even breaks his own record and runs the fastest 100 meters he's ever ran before. He can't believe it. Okay, boys, today's the day. We're gonna take that championship trophy home with us. Yeah! Yeah, not if Kyle drops the baton again. Hey, that's enough. He already feels bad about that. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Kyle will be our anchor tonight. What? No, 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 coach, are you kidding me? I always anchor for this team. Are you trying to make us lose? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea, coach. Yeah, coach, I mean, we should save our best for last. Ain't like, no offense, Kyle. It's okay, coach. I'll just... No, I've already made up my mind. Now you all just have to trust me on this one, okay? Now come on, let's win this race. Yeah. Listen, if you mess this up, I will make sure that you never run again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finals. The winner of today's meet will be taking home the championship trophy. All right, boys, bring it in. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. Let's, let's get it. Do it. Let's go. Hey, we got this, all right? All right. Runners, take your positions. On your marks. Are you sure it was a good idea to put Cal as an anchor? About to find out. Get set. And here we go. Oh, he's already in the lead. Yeah. Go, dude, come on! Oh, nice pass! Yeah. He got this in the bag. Hey, come on, come on! Yes, keep going! Give it to Blake! Shock, cause we won! Yeah! yeah. yeah. This is unbelievable! <laughs> Here you go, guys. Congratulations, champs. Well deserved. Yeah. 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 Hey, look. If anyone deserves this, it's it's Kyle. I mean, look. Without you, none of this would have been possible. You really saved us out there. And uh, I'm really sorry for ever doubting you. Here you go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's go, Kyle. 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 I appreciate this, but this was all a team effort. So here you go, Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, Coach. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, excuse me. Blake? Oh, oh my, oh my gosh, are you a scout from North Carolina? 
Yeah, and I was wondering if, if I would like to join the Tar Heels. A absolutely. Are you kidding me? I this has been my dream forever. Actually, no. I was wondering if you could move out of the way so I could talk to Kyle. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Hey, Kyle. Amazing run out there. I'd love to talk to you about running for us. If you're interested. Are you kidding? Y yes, absolutely! <laughs> awesome. We have wait, a great pro, pro Wait, wait, but... I mean, he's... No offense, but... He has a disability, so why would you want him? Okay. So? Look, disabilities don't disable dreams. Yeah! yeah. You better be on your best behavior, young man. What are you doing? You're not supposed to have your shoes on in the house. You're now his third sitter. The other two quit. I do have a pretty special way with kids. Can't be drinking! Quiet, twerp! Now this is how it's gonna go.